Okay, uh, you see this whole arrangement of um, different things, papers and glues and stamps and stencils and string. I'm still working on um, a new concertina um, sketchbook. And I just wanted to share with you this morning, I have these little squares going on. It was back here that I used the pattern of these little squares. And so when I'm working, if I repeat a pattern, I try to do something different. So at this point, instead of using my stamp that had all these little squares on there, I'm cutting little squares out of paper that I've made and altered um, from the sheet music. Um, I've altered the surface of it just using some gesso, maybe a little bit, and some acrylics on a baby wipe. So right now what I did is I cut them into little squares and I am applying a little bit of the gloss uh, medium. doesn't have to be gloss but it is nice that it's a gel because it's more of a paste than a wet um, liquidy um, uh, glue. So I am putting them on now randomly putting these squares. We'll see how far it goes with the squares that I cut. I'm using the tip of my X-Acto knife because it's a nice little point that kind of sticks into the paper and then I can kind of turn it over. I've heard of like tweezers, you could use those, I have them too, um, but this works pretty e good right there. Okay, and because I cut these in little squares you can't really tell that it's sheet music and that's okay. It's just, it, for me, it is just playing with the pattern here. Whoop. Look at that, I picked that up there. Let's see if we can get one more row. We'll see where that goes. Now this page here it actually folds right on the crease of this image of this, the back of this woman and her hair in this circle. Um, so we'll see. Um, how I can incorporate that and work that in there. And it's actually kind of a, a wonderful problem to be solved. Um, you won't see it much, but uh, it is something that I just was creating and I didn't think about um, before I went into um, working on this spread here. And the spread is a, a couple of, a couple of um, pages together here, you know, opened up because um, it's it's too hard to work on the whole whole thing um, at once so I try to focus in on just a few pages at a time but um, I didn't realize there was the fold right there and I just kept on going and just had a good old time creating um, which it's okay it's okay but that's what this sketchbook is about um, you know my awareness will be different next time when I work with that and let's see I have limited squares left and almost finished here. This one's a little bit smaller, that's okay. And we got one left here. Oh, look at that, two on top of each other. This one wants to not get into too good of a place there. Okay, we got a little funky thing going on. I don't see any more underneath there. So that looks like it. So I'm just gonna let this dry. And now that I've done something to this, I look at the whole of this area right here and I react and interact with it differently. Um, I need to do something up here is calling for, um, we'll see, it just kind of, you know, maybe some bring in some more pencil or pen, um, some of the ink tents and kind of bleed into there, draw some more lines around here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But for this morning, that little bit that I just did, I like that and I'm going to kind of carry, keep on going and see what happens here. Like I said, you know, bring in something at the top here. I've got this hanging down. So, all right, you just hear, get to hear my little rambles. <laughs>